Hello my dear students. In this video lecture, let us discuss and understand an interesting concept related to the logical reasoning section that is the logical connectives. In the logical reasoning section, you will be dealing with simple statements or sentences. Sometimes these simple statements are connected together and compound statements are formed. After listening to this video lecture, you will learn how to analyze these compound statements. We will be focusing on how to frame the logical implications, that is the logically correct interpretations that can be given to a compound statement. We will also be discussing how to frame the logical negation statement for a given compound statement. We will talk about the five logical connectives listed here. If then, whenever, either or, unless and only if. Now, before we start our discussion related to these five logical connectives, let me give you a quick introduction to the negation concept. Let us consider a simple statement here. Today is Sunday. Now let us try to write the negation of this given statement. To frame the negation of the given statement, we need to use words like not, no, never, etc. So today is Sunday. The negation of this simple statement, it will be today is not Sunday. Let us consider another statement here. This is a chalk piece. The negation of this statement, it will be this is not a chalk piece. Now, let us consider another statement here. Ram is not ready. Already we have the word not here. Now, if we are trying to write the negation of this statement, then it will look like Ram is not not ready. But we will not write two negations back to back. Two negations makes it positive. So the negation of this simple statement, it will be Ram is ready. Ram is not ready. Its negation will be Ram is ready. Now, let us consider another statement here. The traffic was heavy and the tire got punctured. You can see that there are two events here. The event P, that is the traffic was heavy. The tire got punctured, that is the event Q. They are connected using the word and. So we can write it as P and Q here and we are asked to write the negation of this P and Q. The negation of P and Q, that is P and Q, the whole bar, it will be P bar or Q bar. We call this as the De Morgan's law. So we have to connect P bar with Q bar using the logic OR and will be converted to OR in this scenario. Thus, the negation of this given statement will read as the traffic was not heavy or the tire was not punctured, P bar or Q bar. Now, let us consider the next statement. The traffic was heavy. Let that be the event P or the tire got punctured. Let that be the event Q. So these two events P Q they are connected using the logic or if we are going to write the negation of this P or Q the whole bar that will be P bar and Q bar. It reads in this manner. The logic or is converted to the logic and. So P bar that will be the traffic was not heavy 
Q bar that is the tire is not punctured and they are connected using the word and so the negation it will read as the traffic was not heavy and the tire was not punctured in this case also we are using the D Morgan's law now having discussed about these introduction to negation now let us consider the implication and the negation aspects pertaining to the logical connectives if then whenever either or unless and only if